Now, what I could do, once you get something the way you want it, um, and it's a good thing to divide these things up into symbols or layers or both, and we'll look at symbols in a moment. But um, say so this is the background, this is exactly how you want it. It's not a bad idea to lock it and create a new layer over here with the new layer tool. So click on that and that would be the next layer. So uh, let's say next, maybe I wanna add a sun, maybe some cloud, something like that. I'm gonna call this sun anyways. So that would be what I would be adding on the next layer. So that's one way to kind of make sure you don't do anything to something you've already created by accident. Um, the other way I could do it is to just go in, select the entire thing, right click on it, and then go convert to symbol. And that will give me a background. And in this case, I am going to make it a graphic. Graphic is, uh, a graphic symbol is usually better for nested animation, which we'll look at later. A movie clip is, it can also be used, but it's not as good for nested animation. So I'm gonna use graphic and then the symbol will tell me it is a graphic symbol, but if I want to remind myself by the name, I'm just going to add a GR to the end. And I have an extra dash in there, so I'm going to get rid of that. Now, for some reason, Adobe has their library panels always front and center, and you know what? We're not using them at all, so I'm going to drag that and close it. And here I can see my background graphic is in my library. Uh, it tells me what library this is, and this is the library attached to Animate01. Save. And uh, here I just want to point something out that once you have a symbol, you can reuse it over and over again. So if I wanted, I could go in and put multiple copies of this symbol on here. I could free transform them and scale them down so I could have tiny, tiny copies of the same symbol. And you can have as many as you want. Now there's no reason for me to actually have this many. These are my background and I'm going to go back and do what I did originally and lock this. Now having multiple symbols can be really useful if what you want is say you want to draw one tree and you want to have that tree appear over and over again to make a forest. And we'll look at how that would work later on. So let's go into the sun. And here, I, I just want to point something else out here as well. Now, um, this turns off visibility on the layer. This locks it, so it can't be edited. And over here, you can see that each layer starts with a single frame. And if it shows this is grayed in, like a lighter gray, and the, this shows it's a keyframe, and it's black. And if that is black and gray, lighter gray, that, that means there is content on that layer. On the sun layer, we can see it's the same color as the background, the timeline, and it's just, so is the, the keyframe circle. And that means there's no content on the layer. And one thing it's very easy to do in Flash is to go in and accidentally create content that is all on the same layer. That can be a problem, and before we draw the sun, I'll just show you quickly why that's a problem. So if I have a shape like this, for example, um, I'm gonna go in and, uh, and select it. So double click on it, and I'm gonna change this from a linear gradient to a solid color. Let's just make it a kind of a bright solid color here. So right now I have a circle, that could be my sun. I could go in, move it where I want, you know, change the scale, whatever I want to do. But one thing about when you have these basic shapes created, and I'm just gonna go in and create, uh, say maybe a pink uh, shape here. So I've got a little pink hexagram. If these aren't symbols, then what happens, if I move this over here, and, and deselect it, and then go back in and select it again, I've created a hole in the middle of the other symbol. Now you can actually use this to your benefit. So for example, um, if I create a circle, but what I really want is half a circle, then I can get rid of 
half my other circle by going in, selecting a different fill color or a stroke, and then right in the middle, draw a box that I then delete. So now I have my perfect half circle. And uh, two, you have to remember you can still go in and just kind of move these things around. So I could very easily go in and create a hat, or I could create a crescent moon, for example, from this, and then go in and with the transform tool, I could, you know, say this crescent moon, I want it to be like that, and then scale down a little bit and a different color, maybe, um, maybe gray. I don't know, something lighter anyways. Maybe I'll make it a lovely lilac color. So that is something you could do, you know, based on the circle. Uh, but, you know, anytime, you know, you might have overlapping objects on the same layer, what's gonna happen if they're not symbols, see now this is, because they're both the same color, it becomes a single object. And if this were a different color, so let me just go in and create something that's a little bit different and then select it. What's gonna happen is when you deselect it and then select it again, you're taking bytes out of the shape that it's on top of. If you don't deselect it, then it's fine. You're just moving it around and repositioning it. If you deselect and select, it takes a byte. Now people use that in order to create drawings you know, you could say, let's use something very basic as an example. Say you're doing a uh, character's eyes. So here uh, we want this to be white. Whoops. And again, you have to select anything first before you go in and change that. We want that to be white. Let's say we want a little outline around it. So we go to the ink bottle tool because I didn't have outline turned on. Pick a dark gray. Oh, actually, let's um, just deselect that first. Okay, so go go to the ink bottle. This is to add a stroke, dark gray, and then it's set to one. That's fine. That's good for me. Then click on the edge, and I have my little stroke. And now I can go in and have it selected. I can make it larger or smaller or whatever. Thirteen is probably a little bit too large. Uh, I'll make it four. So here I've got the um, I've got that. Maybe I want to do an eye that looks like uh, you know it, it's maybe got a little bit of a face fold up there. Then I could go in and you know just create maybe that. Select and there I, I can use that to take away part of what I you know I don't want. So you can use that. 